Yo, 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 welcome. Welcome back to another video. Today we're jumping into another horror game. We're jumping into a game called Golly Soda Pop. Apparently, this is a, a soda brand. I don't I don't think it's I don't think it's true. I didn't really look into the, the lore behind it to see if it's real or not, but apparently it's a soda brand that existed back in the day. I believe it said like the, the 40s, 50s, something like that, 60s, somewhere around there. This is a horror game. It said it existed until a massacre took place, so we about to jump into here and see what this is about. But as always, I greatly appreciate the love and support y'all show the videos. Make sure to expand that like button, smash sub button, join the notification to be alerted. As always, ladies and gentlemen, headphones in, volume up, bonnet, and or durag, whichever you prefer on when we play horror, and let's immerse. Dá para explicar melhor o que eu tenho que fazer? É um trabalho bem incomum. Urban legend. Beleza. Okay. Última coisa. E o pagamento? One last thing. What about the payments? Tá bom. All right. Te ligo quando terminar. I'll call you when I'm done. Will we just pull up in the middle of nowhere? Where we going? Curse, Curse's house? They just stopped in the middle of the road. This game uses your mic. Be quiet, huh? Or it will find you. They didn't say that in the description. Yo. Wow. It really does. All right. Well, looks like we got to be quiet, huh? Like, why did we stop? And why did we stop in the middle of the road is my question. Like, does that make sense? To stop in the middle of the road? Like, oh, we can move it Okay. Let me take a look on the outside real quick. All right, what we got? Golly Soda Pop. Let's take a look inside. What do we have inside here? What do we have inside here? Yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna give you a little ASMR today. Since we can't really talk too loud, I'm gonna give you a little ASMR. And I'm gonna just pull up that editing when I turn up the, the volume on the mic so that you can hear me. Yes. Nothing in here. Nothing in here. I did see that door over there, y'all. I did see that. Okay, music. Music then kicked in. I hear you. Is this an action figure? Can we collect you? No? Alright. Alright, let's go down. We can't go down the back crouch button. Yes, we do. Yes, we do. We've got a sprint button to empty the bottle. It's 1998, June 13th. Yikes. Boom. Lockpick. We have the lockpick. Oh my goodness. E to lockpick door. A D. Am I supposed to be hearing something? There we go. Jesus. Alright. Into the wilderness we go, huh? We got a jump button, we got hops too.
when the movements take it. What does that mean? I need to find the entrance to the factory. Oh, I'm guessing his hands directing us in the way we need to go. is my question. Who is this? Monday, September 21st, 6, 1963, local factory launches product with secret ingredient. The renowned soda factory announced today the launch of a new line of beverages that promises to revolutionize the market. With a secret ingredient dubbed Euphoria, the soda is said to not only quench the thirst, but also improve mood and boost the energy of consumers. The factory's director, Mr. Arinstenio Mach Machado stated, we are very excited about this new formula. We hope everyone can try it and feel difference, feel the difference. So basically energy drink, which you what they what they introduced here. Energy drink. And that's why I don't eat drink energy drinks, because I feel like you drink energy drinks, this is what you're gonna turn into. Whatever this damn soda pop turning these people into zombies, whatever about to happen when we get in here. Yep. Now we're back to being quiet. There it is.
place is giving me none mass of provides, by the way. Just so you know. These numbers seem important. What numbers? What are you talking about? May 14, 1963. Summary. Initial test of the new soda formula are pro uh, progressing well. The addition of the compound euphoria has shown promise in small batches. There is a significant increase in energy and well-being among consumers, but some report vivid dreams details. The euphoria substance was isolated from a rare mineral found underground at the factory. Flavor tests are being adjusted to the, to mask the metallic taste. Early animal tests showed mixed results. Some aggressive behaviors were observed during uh, observed, especially in rodents. I re recommend increasing the dosage in larger batches to test commercial vi uh, vitality viability. Signed, Dr. Roberto S. Almedia, Chief Scientist. that make all that noise like that. Newspaper clippings. The Gazette Manus Monday um, 
July 20th, 1963, incident at soda factory workers attack, a worker attacks colleagues. A shocking incident occurred on the production line at the soda factory last night. Wow. Wow. De uh, Da Silva, um, an employee with over 10 years of service, violently attacked his colleague for no apparent re reason. While uh, was known uh, for his dedication to to work and for his uh, and for being a calm and friendly person, witnesses report that the attacker's behavior was extremely erratic and out of control. Maria, a co-worker, described the scene. Wow had been attack, uh, acting strangely, strangely uh, all day. He seemed distracted and confused. Suddenly, he started shouting and flailing his arms. Before we knew it, he attacked Antonio, our supervisor, with a wrench. Our employees and consumer safety is our top priority, stated the factory spokesperson. We are doing everything in our power to understand what happened and ensure it does not happen again. Doesn't seem like it because that last article clip and we just, or last clip and we just read was talking about up in the dosage after seeing that there was violent reactions from that soda, especially within rodents. So it seems like y'all really trying to experiment to see how far y'all can go with this. So now we know he comes when you collect the paper and they make you start all the way over. Interesting. It's going to be interesting if I can get through what that is. Looks like we got to find four posters.
that's a poster right there. So we got that one. And then there was another one. And that other one. In here. Oh, no. They, they literally are changing where stuff is at. This really reminds me of Nun Massacre. Because Nun Massacre did that. You had to find things, but they switched up where they was at every single time. Because last time, that poster was in this room. Now it's in there, in the other room. June 3rd, 1963. The dreams are getting worse. I can hardly sleep without seeing the shadowy figures. I'm beginning to think that euphoria has undocumented side effects. During an experiment yesterday, the animatronic mascot, which we use for marketing tests, seemed alive. I know it sounds crazy, but I never saw, but I saw, but I swear I saw it, its eyes move. I need to review the calculations. There might be something more to this mineral. The director doesn't want to hear about the potential issues, but I can't ignore the fact that something is seriously wrong here. I need more time and resources to investigate. If I don't find answers soon, I fear the for the future of this factory will burn down. With the not not a uh, not a soda slash energy drink turning people into zombies is crazy. Raphael forgot the valve in the locker room again. Okay, so we got to go into the locker room to get the valve. We got the gas can so we can turn the lights on. Um, we got to get a valve. We got to collect posters. I, we collect, got those coins, the 10 coins out of the bathroom. So I'm sure that would be useful for something. So. trying to scope out like poster everything that we could that we can I'm trying to be strategic with <laughs> trying to scope out like the the posters and stuff like that so we found two posters one in his office there's one in the other room over there where there's four that we got to collect um and then also I'm trying to see what else we may need along the way um that can help us to beat this because once this monster come out I'm not really trying to be having to sit here and duck through this monster and all that it seems like it comes out with the posters. I don't know if there's something else that could trigger it, but so far it's only come out when we collected a poster. So I'm trying to hold off on that. July 20th, 1963, 
The, for, the formula with euphoria was tested on a large scale, alarming results. Consumers reported severe hallucinations, erratic behavior, and episodes of violence. Production has been halted until further notice. Details, significant increase in reports of abdominal behavior. The animatronic mascot was found outside its charging base multiple times. Despite no mechanical failures detected, consumers who ingested euphoria experienced vivid dreams that turned into constant nightmares. A series, a series incident occurred on the production line where a worker attacked his colleague for no apparent reason. Recommendation. Suspend production of the new formula. Conduct a thorough investigation into the euphoria material. Consider deactivating the animatronic mascot until we ensure it is not being affected by the compound. Signed, Dr. Roberto S. Almedia, chief scientist. Okay, so they're finding that this, whatever this euphoria substance is that they're putting in here. I don't know how you manage to forget the password so often, Raphael, but it's on the same board as always, and we got that board, so we're good. Before we do that, I'm going to check around here, see what else we have.
this and it's like something that's stuck in there. <laughs> I might as well collect these now. He just coming out of nowhere? Wow. Okay now. It's time to lock in. He is on my ass, bro. So he can just disappear like that? Where's that last one? Think, think. August 5th, 1963. They fired me. They didn't want to talk about the effects of euphoria. They ordered all the reports to be burned, but I managed to hide somehow. I know they will continue to test in secret. Their greed is greater than their fear. The ma that mask guy. It's not just a machine. There's something inside it now. I feel like somehow the mineral is alive or at least imbued with some energy we don't understand. I'm leaving these notes for anyone who finds this place. Be careful. There's something more. They hear more than just plastic and circuits. Something malevolent. Roberto. This is auto. This is me.
get in the car. Come on now. That's how we end the gameplay. Happy ending. Happy. Yeah. One, two. One, two. Mic check. One, two. One, two. One, two. Mic check. One, two. Soda pop. Soda pop. Soda pop. Coming for the soda pop. Soda pop. Soda pop. Soda pop, we coming for the soda pop. Hey, yeah, yeah, hey, uh, hey, yeah, hey, yeah. Come on now. Happy ending. Yes. Come on. That's all we know around here is happy endings. That's it. All right. That was pretty good. That's pretty good. <laughs> like I said, it reminded me of the suspense. Like, I'm, I wasn't able to talk that much, so y'all just... I'll put a disclaimer at the beginning in the intro that I'm not able to, to talk that much, but it's pretty good. Golly Soda Pop. Yes. Liminal, Liminal Road. Shout out to you. Shout out to the game. I enjoyed myself. We're going to have to definitely check out to see if you got other games. Definitely um, check out the Patreon on there. But yes, this was, uh, I enjoyed this. This was, like I said, it reminded me of the Nun Massacre. So Nun Massacre, you got all of these extra things you got to find and, and, and do and stuff like that. But the concept behind this is similar to what Nun Massacre was to where you got this killer, this, in this case, the animatronic walking around. And I thought that the animatronic came around when you collected the posters, but that bad boy just came out of nowhere when I ain't had no posters collected. So, hey, that's that. But you got to find things. So we had to find the code with the whiteboard. We had to find the vial that was in the locker um, that we needed the whiteboard code for to get into the locker. We had to find fuel, which I think we might be able to beat the game without having the fuel, unless that generator also opens up another portion of the game that won't be opened up unless you do the generator, but it seems like you don't necessarily need you just be navigating through darkness the entire time, which I guess can make it scarier. But having to find these things, those four posters we had to find, we had to find the plane which was stuck in the elevator to get to the next thing. I like how you cut scenes the last, it would have been more scary and it would have been more, um, immersed and more immersion put in your game if you made it to where us at the end we had to go through that and him chasing us through those last parts even if it's just a little chase sequence to where we're running getting those keys and get to the car if we were to navigate through that ourselves that would make your game a lot more scary um and a lot scarier in that moment so i would say just like that um, on, on the other games that you make in the future just like if you have something like that don't don't take control and let the and the 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 cutscene do it let us do it right for that but um the 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 horror element was there the atmosphere was amazing like you did a really good job of setting the atmosphere with not that much to go off for of, really. like like i said music wasn't there um wasn't really loud or anything like that but like being in that factory and being pitch black even when we cut the lights on it still was dark still had dark elements the random things that you have happening like the pipe dropping like the sounds, like different sounds when you switch over, like walking in the grass versus walking on the concrete. And then when I stepped on that ladder, that scared me. Having the light bulb blow out as I'm walking over it, that scared me. So it's a lot of things that you put in the game that still built that atmosphere for what we know to be a horror game, right? So overall, I enjoyed myself. Great job with the game. Um, and I look forward to seeing what else you come out in the future. I'm, I hope that you all enjoyed this as well as much as I did. As always, I greatly appreciate the love and support y'all share videos. Make sure you continue to spend a like button, smash the button, enjoy the button, and until next time, ladies and gentlemen, have a great day. Baby, let them kiss, let me know. All the stars are close, but all